Genetic enhancements blur the line between natural abilities and technology-infused superpowers. Even if you don't have the genetic lottery ticket, your eyes are still pretty incredible. The human retina can perform its light detection function across an astounding range of light intensities, from bright sunlight to dim starlight. But here's the catch. It takes about 30 minutes for full night vision recovery. This is why submarine crews and pilots use red lights. Red light only slowly depletes the rhodopsin stores in the rods, helping preserve night vision. It's like keeping your night vision engine warmed up and ready to go. But for people with the genetic advantage, this adaptation period is drastically shorter. They're not waiting around for their eyes to adjust, they're already seeing what everyone else is missing. What's really fascinating is how this research is opening doors for the future. Adults with a genetic form of childhood onset blindness experienced striking recoveries of night vision within days of receiving experimental gene therapy. We're literally at the point where we can potentially give people superpowers through genetic intervention. This isn't science fiction anymore. Companies are working on genetic therapies that could enhance normal vision, not just restore lost sight. Imagine being able to see heat signatures naturally, or having night vision that makes current military technology look like a toy. The implications go way beyond just being able to find your keys in the dark. We're talking about enhanced safety, better performance in low-light professions, and abilities that could fundamentally change how humans interact with their environment. We're living in a time where the line between natural human ability and technological enhancement is blurring. People are already walking around with genetic advantages that seem like something out of a comic book, and we're developing technologies that could give those same advantages to everyone. The question isn't whether this is possible, it's already happening. The question is, how far we're willing to push the boundaries of human enhancement? Are we comfortable with a world where some people have natural night vision while others don't? What happens when we can choose our children's visual abilities? This whole night vision thing is really just the tip of the iceberg. Genetic modification technology is advancing so rapidly that we're looking at a future where parents might be able to select their children's abilities the same way we choose options on a car. Enhanced night vision, improved color perception, resistance to eye diseases, it's all potentially on the table.